uh, as uh, we approach uh, 1 a.m. here. It is approaching 8 p.m. on the east coast of the United States, and the polls are closing in 16 more states and Washington, D.C. It's not a state, but it has three votes, and they're normally pretty reliable for the Democrats. Florida, though, is the one that we really want to watch as well. Here's NBC. From NBC News, Decision 2012, Election Night. Live from Democracy Plaza, here's Brian Williams. We are back, 8 o'clock in the East now. Slew of results, a lot of it. If there's someone in an adjoining room, call them in. This is too much to repeat. Uh, let's go through the polls that have just closed and uh, what we know. President, Florida, too close to call. This is our Uber list at 8 o'clock, so we're still watching that. In New Hampshire, too close to call at this hour. Four electoral votes on the line. Illinois, the president holds his home state, uh, Barack Obama. Pennsylvania, too early to call, but we are showing an Obama lead at this hour in Pennsylvania. Officially too early to call. In Georgia, Romney, so a hold for the GOP there. In New Jersey, too early to call, and this is storm related. This is the pure mechanics of voting and counting the vote. We're going to see this on a couple of New Jersey results tonight. In Massachusetts, Obama. Uh, in Tennessee, uh, Romney as the projected winner. Uh, in the state of Maryland, Obama. These are all holds for the respective parties, meaning no change since the last election cycle. Ditto Alabama, uh, Mitt Romney. In Connecticut, Barack Obama, the projected winner. In Oklahoma, Mitt Romney, the projected winner. In Mississippi, Mitt Romney, the projected winner. In Rhode Island, Barack Obama stitching together uh, New England again as they hope to in Delaware, and they appear to have been successful. Ditto the District of Columbia tonight and the great state of Maine, where the president will receive those four electoral votes. In Missouri, uh, a big prize, too early to call, 10 electoral votes. Let's look at the national map and see how the blues and reds are stitching together when we add them all in. These um, regions that we've seen the last couple of cycles remaining largely in place, uh, both parties uh, counting on their sacred ground and going after the battlegrounds. And uh, we have some Senate races I would love to get through because these are all just now coming in. Uh, this and well, they may come in, and when uh, there is a change, I mean, if the Republicans take back the Senate or the uh, uh, Democrats take the House of Representatives, we will change everything here, but I think that is unlikely, and therefore we probably won't. Uh